A very warm welcome to all of you at today's seminar, Man, Woman, and Child, and the State, Lessons from the True Story Behind Mrs. Chatterjee versus Norway. Last night, a large group of us saw the movie Mrs. Chatterjee versus Norway, a very powerful film, a compelling account of the story of Sagarika Chakrabarti, a lone Indian mother battling a brutal and powerful state agency in a foreign land that had taken away her children. But the film is also much more than the story of Sagarika. It is perhaps more importantly for what we are discussing today, a very telling account of the cruelty, the malice, and the sense of cultural superiority of this entire system of so-called child protection. The film casts a very knowing gaze over the sinisterness of the system, the way the children are squirreled away without warning, and the parents are completely shut out. The claustrophobia, the sense of the walls closing in around you, the ruthlessness with which your every natural reaction as a parent is turned into a reason to keep your child away from you. The drastic effects of the on the child of these removals. They stop talking, they turn into zombies. There is a total collapse of their sense of themselves. And finally, the weird practices used to pacify children who resist being taken away from their parents. The passive aggressive methods used to corner them into submitting and complying and dropping their resistance to being placed in state care. You must all see this film. It's playing this week all over India and in 150 countries around the world. I would now like to thank our chief guests, Mr. Shatrugan Sinha and Mr. Manoj Jha for honoring us with their presence. In India, and for Bollywood fans around the world, Shatrugan Sinha needs no introduction. He is a veteran Bollywood megastar of gigantuan popularity. His hit dialogues have entered the lexicon of many Indian languages, but he is here today in his capacity as a member of parliament from West Bengal, Sagarika State, from the Trinamool Congress. He has come here to hear us out along with our other chief guest, Mr. Manoj Jha. Mr. Manoj Jha is one of our most distinguished members of parliament. He is a terrific orator. He is also the national spokesperson of the Rashtriya Janata Dal. We hope to persuade Mr. Sinha and Mr. Jha to raise in Parliament the issue of this seminar, of children being snatched from innocent parents by brutal Western child agencies. This is happening all the time in places where lakhs of our fellow countrymen and women are going to live and work every year, sending back much needed earnings, raising the prestige of our nation, but left totally alone when their children are targeted. This is a worldwide humanitarian crisis. It's not only about Indians. It's a worldwide crisis being perpetrated by arrogant and inhumane state agencies. The intervention by India in the Norwegian case of Sagarika has been noted and appreciated by people abroad who have been working for years for the reform of these agencies. This is a global issue waiting to be led by India. I extend my warmest welcome and heartfelt thanks to our guests who have especially flown in from abroad for this program. Connie Rajuli from the USA. <laughs> Marius Rikeras from Norway. And Ova Knarvik, also from Norway. I will tell you more about them and their tremendous work in the field later in the program. For now, another big round of applause for them all. I now turn 
to the most important person present here, the real life heroine on which the film is based, Sagarika Chakravarti. <laughs> Have a seat. Sagarika, 10 years ago, you were vilified before the whole world by Norwegian Child Services. They told blatant lies about you. They took away your children, your children, whom you had born in your womb. That was a grave sin. A sin not just against you and your children, but a sin against motherhood. In your defeat, in your anguish, and in the danger that Barnavana posed to you, all mothers were defeated and confronting a grave, grave danger. But you held your ground. You fought back. You got back your children. You picked up the pieces of your life that was shattered by Barna Werner, you set your children back on the path to security and happiness, the path that Barna Werner had knocked them off of. And once everything was in order, you stubbornly, determinedly, and single-handedly fought to reclaim your name and tell the world of the injustice of Norway's Barna Werner. You wrote a book, and you managed to have it made into a movie. <laughs> a movie with Rani Mukherjee, one of Bollywood's biggest stars. Ten years later, you stand vindicated and victorious. Just as all mothers fell with your defeat, we all rise in your victory. Hats off to you. Finally, a very warm welcome to my dear friends and colleagues from around the world who are joining us via Zoom over there and on the live stream for this seminar. We have a massive online international gathering for today's program. Our speakers represent three continents, Europe, North America, and South America. Thank you for joining. Long live our fight for justice against so-called child protection services. They do not protect children. They destroy children. They are completely uncaring and ignorant of the needs of children. They are a vicious, dysfunctional, power mad, and uncontrolled beast of a state bureaucracy that was ill-conceived from the start and is causing unspeakable and totally unnecessary misery to millions of children, mothers, fathers, grandparents, aunts, and uncles around the world. It is time to say, this version of child protection has failed. We need to completely uproot it and come up with a completely different way of intervening for children. <laughs>